Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I actually am going to give you another Bakugan unboxing. I haven't done videos for quite some time. I've been busy, you know, with, with music and everything, you know. But anyways, I actually am bringing you guys. I just got these in the mail today. I ordered them a couple weeks, or about, about, I think I ordered them last week. But I actually have two of these Armored Elite Bakugan Pro sets. So if you don't know what these are, it's pretty much like a like a starter set that comes with one Ultra, two Bak, two Bak core Bakugan, and a 40 card deck, along with the ability card, the character cards, and of course, you know, it's gonna be a deck. So if, so it includes 40 cards in this, and I believe a couple Baku cores too. But yeah, um, and then this actually this particular set. Um, comes with Bat Ultra Bat Tricks, um, and then these two. I have a feeling I know what these both of them are, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin the surprise because you just have to you'll just, you'll just have to wait and find out. But this is the Bat Trick set, um, and like I said, each of these sets come with a 40 card deck, which is a complete deck, I believe, for the Bakugan game, and then. Of course, this is the second set I got, and this is the Ultra Aquas Howler set. And this also, same thing, same, and then two core, one Arliss, Bakugan, and another Dargus. But anyways, I'm going to actually make a part one and part two of this video because I don't want to unbox them both now because then I won't have anything to unbox tomorrow. So I was thinking about... Unboxing the Bat Tricks um, box today, and then tomorrow or Friday, I'm gonna uh, I will unbox Howler, the Howler um, Pat box or the character. But uh, the tape actually is kind of tough to get off, so I have to grab my trusty scissors. Oh, by the way, I do have some box so. Just so, just so you guys know, I actually have made my my um, deck up. I actually, well, I've made my Bakugan yeah deck, including the three Bakugan that I want to use, and they're all core Bakugan as well. But I believe I just literally had. Oh, here he is. So I actually do have my Bakugan that I chose. So I have, um, so I'm going to use, so in my deck, I actually personally am using a Pyrus deck that I'm working on, a Darkest deck, and a Ventus deck. And then I'll probably make like an Aquas and Arliss deck at some point down the road. Um, but I think Aqua, I would say, hey, or I might even do Chaos and Aquas like a deck for that. But right now I'm focusing more on the Darkest, Pyrus, and Ventus deck that I'm actually currently working on. But I'm actually also thinking about, like I said, in the future is, or e even now, you know, is when I get this deck done, I was thinking about actually moving on to, to a Aquas and... Uh, I would Arliss probably I'll do like I'll do like three three elements at this and you can actually do what you have to pick more actually that's not true because you can pick just one element but personally you can mix and match them so if you want to have like a Ventus and Darkus deck or if you just want or if you just want a you know three three elements you know it's a really it's really up to your up to you and your play style. Sorry guys, I'm having a tough time getting this tape off. Oh shoot. Here we go. I believe that is good. Alright, so let's rock and roll with this. So we will actually start with the uh, um Actually, we'll start with the bottom or the cores first. This and it gives you a rule book as well. And these are 
actually the cards, but we'll start with the cores first. You actually you actually get a couple cores in here. You get one, two, three. You get a total of six cores in here. So I will go. I'll, I'll go. So well. So I don't know if you can see my camera. Let's move it closer. But here is a fire fist, and this is actually a really good core. It's a plus 150 B power plus four attack. I don't know if you can see that with this with the light. Is it focusing? There we go. But you know, it's it's a hundred plus hundred fifty B power plus four attack. Um, next we got another fire fist, and this one actually is a big trap. It's a minus five attack, which is pretty good trap. I mean. Um, and then we have a shield, just a regular shield. This is a decent, a good, good cord. This is plus 50 B power plus one attack. There's the, the shield, and that's what you get. Um, and then we have another shield, and this is definitely a big trap. This is huge. This is minus 100 B power. So this I actually might put to good use when I battle with someone. Um, we got one magic shield. This one, oh, this is an awesome. This is definitely an awesome one. You get plus five hundred B power in this magic. This magic shield core, and then here is a helix, which is def another great. Uh, you get plus three hundred B power plus three attack, which is really good. But yeah, those are the cores for this pack. Um, and right now, actually, we'll we'll um, look at the Bakugan. Just I would say we'll do the Bakugan now and save the cards for last because I'm really interested about the cards, the cards you get. Um, we'll start with the Bakugan that are actually already showed, or that that are just to, that just pop out. There we go. All right, and then, oh, shoot. All right, so here are our two Bakugan, or that we, we don't really know what they are. So let's open up our first one. All right. So this looks like this is a uh, what do you what's that one shoot I can't look at my phone it's, it's Waquaza something like that but she, it's like she's got like three heads like but she has two like that she uses like as arms and she's got weird looking legs but she's I know this this Bakugan it's a chaos well yeah it's a chaos Bakugan. And she's got 600 B power. And I believe this, she was actually, I, I believe it was a cat that actually used her in one episode. That you, This was the Bakugan the cat used. But there is, I think it was Requiza or something like that. And then we'll, we will do the darkest Bakugan. I'm really excited of who this actually is. Oh, nice! It is one of my favorite Bakugan, actually. And the, the, what what really stinks is he only has two hundred B power, which is it's better than a hundred, but it's definitely lower for a core Bakugan. Which I believe cores have more B power than some ultras do, because ultras I don't think have a lot of B power. But this is Cycloid. Awesome. And he, this is the darkest cycloid. I love cycloid. He's one of my favorite. I would say, I, I did like so cycloid pretty much in the older Bakugan or and when they first did Bakugan, he was a big cyclops with a, a big club. He was 
Honestly, he was cool and all, but I like this variant of Cycloid a whole lot better because he's pretty much, he, he walks like this, like a gorilla, but he, he has like a laser eye that, that can shoot out. He's, he's really, he, he's really good in the, I remember they actually, um, uh, in Geogon, I think it was Geogon Rising, they ended up, there was a brawler, I think it was a Pyrus brawler that went against Dan and actually had a Pyrus cycloid, which was really cool. But we will um, turn cycloid into his form. Oops. There we go. But yeah, there is cycloid. Now let's take out the main the main guy that that actually we got to see. Hang on. Uh, there we go. I believe I got everything. His wing is actually caught on something, so there we go. But here is Bat Tricks. He's actually really cool. I like him a lot, actually. His ears like they go like that. Like they can like a like a little sad puppy or like a basset hound. Like they can go in like that. That's cool. But I believe, so I believe how to close, so we, I believe you want feet in first, wings in maybe, or tail. So the tail goes like that. Wings go in. Okay, so I believe that goes in. Feet go in, like so. Tail goes in, wings go in. Okay, I actually did screw up. There we go. So his head, I believe, goes down. Okay, yep. His head goes like that. But this is how you close him up. Yeah, that's how, that looks right. And then the wings fold like that. Come on. Perfect. But here we we did get bat tricks in his in his ball. It looks kind of uneven, but I believe that's how it's supposed to go. Yep. So here is bat tricks in his ball form. Actually. This was a, this is actually a pretty great set. Oh, and he just popped. I will leave that trick. He was probably the star of the show for this pack. Honestly, I actually do really like him. So we'll 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 set him aside. All right, now let's look. So right now, I'm really curious of what the cards are. There's the rule sheet too. Um, but I believe I actually do know how to play Bakugan, and I believe the pro, what pro means on this is just is honestly how you play, and it comes with a piece of cardboard. This is the rule book. Yep. So it, this tells you pretty much the same thing. Each player needs three Bakugan in their character cards, six Baku cores, and a forty card deck. Perfect. Player one. 
awesome. Yep, so this might actually come in handy, so I'll keep this aside. Um, but here is our deck, and I'm really excited to see. Let's remove the cardboard first. And of course, we got another pamphlet. I believe this is just what the characters you can collect and stuff like that. Or no, this is the instructions of how to put bat tricks in his ball form. All right, so I'm really excited. Oh, so actually, oh, these, okay, these definitely look so. They actually individually put the character cards outside so you can look at them. So here is Cycloid's card. He's got a really good card. So he's got plus 600 B power and Shadow Strike. I believe that's what it stands for, Shadow Strike. But his requirement, so he actually has 200 B power, but he's really powerful when he attacks. He's got eight attack, which is awesome for a Bakugan. Um... We'll put so we'll put I'll so I'll let me move my camera back a little so we'll put even farther maybe there we go you guys can still see me I think yeah so we have we'll put cycloid here with and then we have uh oh that's right this is Rizaru. That's that's the Bakugan I was thinking of. It's pretty much like a insect slash like ant like a dragon almost. Like it's got three heads and like spider like legs. But this this Bakugan has um 600 B power to attack and plus two magic or you need a magic shield two magic shields in order and plus plus two freeze I believe that's what it stands for. But there is Rizaru, Razaru, whatever. Can't pronounce the name. Uh, Batrix, of course, which he takes a DNA and just as a regular shield core. Uh, 700 B power plus two attack. But I would say Cycloid would be the heavy hitter in this in this um, set in this starter set because he has eight eight attack, but also. He's probably the weakest with B power, but it says here that he can actually get, um, he can get plus 600 B power and Shadow Strike, which, which pretty much will bring him up to 800 B power, or no, 500 B power. So, no, would it be? No, it actually would be 800 B power because if they're giving him six, he's got 200. That makes it 800 B power. So. He would he would probably be in the same league with Batrix. Like he could, but Batrix only has two attack and doesn't have any built abilities. So I would say these two would definitely be the bonus. But like I said, ultras. I mean, that's for Batrix. That's a really good B power. I mean, for most ultras like Trox um, from Battle Planet have very little. I would say very little B power, but that this is actually pretty good on a definitely good on a on an ultra um, from Armored Alliance seven hundred B power. But awesome, I gotta say this, I'm I'm actually amazed by, I'm just I'm pleased with what they what they gave us today or what Bakugan has done. Then you know, but right now I'm really kind of looking forward to seeing what's in this forty card deck. I mean, already on top I see a a uh, Baku Fusion card, which involves of uh, uh, Pyrus and Darkest Bakugan, which we definitely can use. Um, shoot, hang on, I just don't want to. So I guess we'll just have to tear it. Maybe we can't really. Come on, there we go. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. It's like opening up a pack of gum almost. Like, you got this. Hang on, guys. I might have figured it out. There we go. We got it. I'll take care of my trash after, guys, if you notice some on my bed. Finally got this thing open. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's look at our cards. So I'll... Bring it closer so we can look at the cards. Alright, so we have Baku Fusion Fury, which is the card that you saw. Which is a fusion card. Um, we have a flip card, which is really useful. We have Dark Darkest Fire Dodge. Darkest Ore Pyrus. Zero cost zero energy. We got act we got two of those. I gotta say, this is an awesome deck. Uh, we have Battle Hardened. It says three energy. If you have flip three of more cards this attack, non minus Pyrus and plus five energy. So that must be pretty good. Pyro Field, Darkest and P Pyrus, plus 500 attack, plus Shadow Strike, and, or no. Costs five energy. We have let's see one. Two. Oh, we got actually we actually have we, have, we only have one of those. Uh, we have Pyrus Flash Fire, which is um, four costs four energy. Rapid Fire, the second Rapid Fire card you play this turn is free. Remove all enemy Baku cores and negate their f their effects. There we go. So we have two of those. Uh, we have Insta Baku Year. So this definitely will be useful. Costs only two energy. If that Bakugan has Baku Gear attached to it, reverse one, then discard a card. Got two of those. Pyro Field. I believe we just had one of those as well. Pyro Spe Spirit. Plus 1,000 B Power. Now that we definitely can use. And we have two of those. And it costs 5 energy. Baku's Pin Blast. It is one, so one reverse and plus Shadow Strike, I believe. Or no. I can't remember. Is it stun? This is shadow. Okay. Um, and then we have Hyper Batrix Ultra, which is actually the Evolve, so that's awesome. If this has two Baku Gear attached to it, plus one, I think. That's what it means. Uh, we have Ruinous Blade. Plus 400 B power and plus 4 attack. Rapid fire. The second rapid fire card you play this turn is, is free. Okay. Plus 4 energy, and this is for Darkus and Pyrus. Um, all right. We have Runius Blade, so same thing. Uh, Pyro Storm. This is Pyro Stormer, plus 6 energy, plus... We have Scorching Laser Laser Lance. This is for Chaos and Pyrus. Plus 300 attack, plus 300 freeze for each Baku gear attached to that Bakugan. And that's 4 energy. Uh, Firelight Fuser. This is for uh, Baku gear, so plus 2 energy. This card can be attached to a character as a second Baku gear when you play this. Plus 3 attack. Plus 200 B power.
Chaos Scorch, plus four attack and one energy. Dark Darkest Fire, state the stab laser. Pyrus and Darkest. So this card can be attached to a character as a second Baku gear. Rapid Fire. The second Rapid Fire card you play is it, this turn is free. Plus 400 B power, plus one attack. Oh, so I get it. So this is kind of like a cross. Pyrus Energizer. So this plus two energy. This card can be attached to a character as a second Baku gear. Back to back. This is another Baku flip card. Flip. Dark Resilience. Blaze Helm. When you play this, two Shadow Strike and discard two cards, plus 100 B power, plus two attack. And this is a Pyrus card. Same. And then we've got a couple more Chaos cards. So we have Baku Kaveri. Plus 100 attack and power. You may pay an additional 3 energy for plus 500 attack instead. Same thing. Dark Resilience. Uh, we have Chaos Slashers. Baku Gear. Plus 400 B power. Zero attack. And then we have Chaos Max Blast. Plus five five attack. If that Bakugan has a Bakugan attach, attached to it, one Shadow Strike. Okay. Wow, we actually did get some really good cards in that. I got us. Actually, I might actually use these for my deck. But anyways, guys, that is the deck. Um, I can showcase my Bakugan right now if you guys would like me to. But here are the Bakugan up close. We have Rizaru. I think that's how you pronounce. Um, we have Cycloid. And we have Batrix. But anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to me. And actually, I want, I want recommendations of what... So, so after my deck that I'm starting now, I want to know um, in, in the future what other... Because I have Arliss, Aquas, and Chaos deck to make. So, but right now I'm more focused on Darkest, Pyrus, and, and Ventus um, making, a, making a deck for those three elements. But anyways, comment, comment down below and like this video, and I hope... To see you guys live tomorrow. I'm I'm hoping to make a video tomorrow of the second part two of my Armored Elite starter set, which which actually, like I said, you got a little sneak peek from it. Um, how Aquas Ultra Howl or Halcor is in it, and two other Bakugan that I don't know. So so anyways, thank you guys and have a great night.